Come, Master Dapper, you see how I turn customers away here to give your cause dispatch. Uh, <laughs> now, have you performed the ceremonies we're enjoying you? Yes, of the vinegar and the clean uh, shirt. Your <laughs> aunt is a fire to have a sight of you, though she will not say it. <laughs> have you prepared for her grace's servants? Uh, yes, uh, here are sixty pounds. Good. Hark, the doctor. Is yet her grace's nephew come? He is come. And is he fasting? Yes. And hath cried hum? Thrice, you must answer. I have. And as oft buzz? As if you have, saying I have. Into her cars, hoping that he hath vinegared his senses, the fairy queen by me dispenses this robe, the petticoat of fortune, which that he straight put on, she doth importune. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And though to fortune near be her petticoat, Yet closer is her smock, the queen doth note. Therefore, even of that a piece she has sent, which being a child, to wrap him in was rent, and bids him for a scarf he now will wear it, with as much love as then her grace did tear it, about his eyes, to show that he is fortunate, and trusting unto her to make his state, he'll throw away all worldly wealth about him, which that he will perform, she doth not doubt him. Oh, she need not doubt him. He has nothing but what he will willingly part with all, upon her grace's word, throw away the wallet. As she would ask it, handkerchiefs and all. Oh, she cannot bid that thing, but he'll obey. If you have a ring about you, cast it off. Or a silver seal at your wrist. Oh, <laughs> oh her grace will send her fairies here to search you. Therefore, deal directly with her highness. If she finds that you conceal anything, you're undone. Truly, there's all. All what? All my money, truly. Keep nothing that is transitory about you. Bid told play music. Oh, hark. The elves are coming. To pinch you if you tell not true. Advise you. Oh, oh, uh, oh. I have two shillings in my pocket. <laughs> oh, they knew it, they say. <laughs> he has more yet. <laughs> what, in his other pocket? <laughs> they must pinch him, they say, or he will never confess. <laughs> oh, 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 you hold. He is a grace's nephew. <laughs> What care you? You say no, you shall care. Sir, deal directly with the fairies. Show them your innocence. and shame the fairies. By this good light, I have nothing. He does equivocate, they say, and swears by the light when he's blindfold. By this good dark, I have nothing but a half crown about my wrist that my fiancé gave me, and a leaden heart I wore since she forsook me. I knew there was something. Come. Will you incur her grace's wrath for these trifles? I'd rather you throw away twenty half crowns. You can keep your eleven half still. Uh, what is this dog? Yonder's your knight, Sir Mammon. Oh, sleepy, never thought of him till now. Where is he? Here, hard by, he's at the door. And you're not ready. Go, get his suit. He must not be sent back. By no means. What should we do with this same puffin here? Oh, play him back a while with some device. <laughs> Would her grace speak with me? I come. <laughs> 